Now that the world is starting to open up more and more, people are starting to head out of their cozy home setups and venture to working outside more often. I'm always on the search for the most compact, modular, and lightweight gear that I could take with me on the go to deliver fast and high quality performance without the heavy tech that can only be placed in one area. What's up guys, Elber here. So I'm always looking for the best gear on the go and I found some awesome and simple gadgets that have been working really well for me so far that I'd love to share with you guys. I'm a big fan of working at coffee shops, so the gears that I usually choose to bring with me lean more towards the small portable side starting off with the macbook pro i have the 16 inch 2019 model with a 2.6 gigahertz six core intel processor with 500 gigabytes of memory since i do a lot of work that have massive files like premiere pro figma and some 3d software programs i find that the 500 gigabyte macbook pro models to work great with holding enough memory and ram for larger file sizes it's light sleek compact and like many apple products i just love the design and how it feels when you're using it throughout the day many people do have have some issues with the keyboards and touch bar but i personally like the thinness of the keys as it makes minimal effort to press down and has a nice subtle sound as for the touch bar it does take time to get used to but having visible shortcuts to the volume control autofill word choices and also video scroll timelines can be surprisingly helpful and save you time throughout your working day what's cool about the touch bar is that it adapts to whichever programs you use when it goes to spotify the controls quickly switch to a more music center toggle versus photoshop where it gives you shortcut buttons to certain and useful tools. The only negative side of the 2019 MacBook Pro is that the laptop only takes USB-C ports. There are four ports in total with two on each side along with an aux cord on the right. So I purchased an adapter going into our next product which is the Inomax USB-C hub adapter for USB and SD card ports. This small sleek and compact adapter has multiple different ports with three USBs, one HDMI along with an SD and micro SD card reader. What's great about this adapter is that all these ports work simultaneously without sacrificing any speed. I take this port with me all the time on the go when I need to plug in my microphone that only takes USB ports. I can also import video clips from my camera via SD card and also change any device that only has USB access. Next up is the rugged mini 2TB Lacey external portable hard drive by Neil Poulton. This hard drive was designed specifically to withstand drop shock and water resistance which is perfect if you're traveling and need to bring this along to wherever you go without having to worry about someone spilling coffee or accidentally dropping it. Many times hard drives tend to be pretty sensitive but the lacy i found to be durable in any situation it comes in this vibrant and cool orange case that protects the inner hard drive itself i dropped it many times and there isn't a single scratch on it the only thing i do regret is not getting the one with the sd card reader built into it this one comes with just a USB-C port to connect to your computer. Bringing this drive also makes working so much faster and easier since all of the heavy storage goes all into this drive instead of consuming unneeded memory on your computer. Since coffee shops and outside working areas can be unpredictable and have fairly small tables or space, I prefer not to use a mouse as it needs a certain type of surface to move around in. So in replacement of that, I bring a small Intuos Bluetooth graphic drawing tablet if I need to use Photoshop designs, 3D, or illustrations for quick iteration and speed. What's nice about this Wacom is that it's super compact at about 6 by 4 inches and doesn't require much space to work with. It's also Bluetooth connected that offers a cleaner workspace versus cluttered wires that could take up more room on your workspace. You can expect a full day of working charge for a small and medium sized tablet models and a half day for a large tablet. I personally love the Wacom because as a designer working with a tablet and pen offers a more natural and quick way to navigate, drag, draw, and double click. If you haven't used a Wacom before, I definitely recommend you giving it a try as it might speed up your way of working. So let's talk about audio. I have two that I carry with me all the time, which is the Apple AirPods Pro and the AI 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 over the ear headphones. My go-to working headphones are the TMA2s and they are super comfortable and great for long period working sessions. I love their simplicity in design and their over the ear style helps to dual out outside noises for a more focused work session. I had these for seven years and as you can see, they're holding up really well. The leather skin around the speaker areas are slowly starting to peel off with some cracks and scratches. I also had to super glue the leather around the speakers a few times, but the smooth and durable matte material really helps to keep these headphones intact. I love AI 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 
because of their modularity system, you can combine different styles of usage to your liking. For example, I chose these smaller headphones for a more compact and casual look, but they also have these huge stylish headphones that could cover your whole ear and offer more noise cancellation. You can also choose what type of audio speaker preference you have, for example, a warmer feel or something punchy with more bass. I purchased AirPods Pro earlier this year and found it perfect for meeting calls and was also excited about the noise cancellation feature. I love how simple the design of the AirPods Pros are, not to mention how satisfying opening and closing the case is. They also last surprisingly long with about 4.5 hours of battery life, plus charging it fully in this case is as quick as 20 minutes. I never had a problem with these in terms of poor audio. The only thing that I noticed is that if you have more than one device connected to these AirPods, it can sometimes get confused on whether you're using your phone, your laptop, or any connected device. So make sure to turn off one of your Bluetooth devices to ensure a solid connection. I also bring a notebook with me to jot down any random ideas or sketches that I don't want to forget. I used to carry my post-it notes, but I tend to lose them all at the end of the day. So having a notebook that can keep all your dots intact is very useful. To keep everything inside, I have a durable cotton Carhartt carry pouch. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. It's a great way to carry any small things like the MacBook charger, notebooks, a Wacom, and any miscellaneous gear that tends to jump around in a bag if set loose. And lastly, how it's carried. I don't have anything too crazy in terms of a super high-tech backpack that can carry all my devices in. I actually really like carrying tote bags and I have a few that I love to mix up throughout the week and all these accessories that I carry with me daily fit nicely into these bags. Also, you can't forget the beanies and what's better than having a few to put on if you don't have time to do your hair. I love this brand that a friend recommended called Maybe Tomorrow where they have a nicely arrangements of colors and styles, definitely check them out if you're a fan of beanies. So that was my portable everyday carry workstation. Hope you guys found it informative. Thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace.